Hi, this is Shadi. Today we're going to be discussing Kata Guruma. There's a very popular narrative that says the following. Jigoro Kano was trying to beat a larger sumo wrestler, so he studied in the books of Western wrestling, and from there he got the technique Kata Guruma, and then it was incorporated into Judo. I was under the same belief myself. Today we're going to go back to the original article and read it together uh, it was written by kudo ninth dan i'll leave the link in the description below if you want to read it so i was under the impression about a lot of things but with further research i realized that they were not what i thought they were and i'm sure it's this case for a lot of you too it's okay to make mistakes in these particular topics because new evidence or revisions will always be done we're always studying but what's not okay is to make dishonest mistakes and intentionally misinform someone like you know omitting something or pushing a particular narrative so the article goes as follows let's go to the second uh, paragraph it says although kano had no reason to think he could beat fukushima he wanted to throw him more than anything he studied sumo and physical training books from other countries until one day he came up with an idea he thought he would try he lifted hefty fukushima onto his shoulders and tossed him down as nice as you please the technique he used was what we now call kata guruma end quote so here you see he says he studied sumo and physical training physical training is not martial arts a combative disciplines is also mentioned in the Kodokan website in the history of judo. I'll also link it in the description if you want to read more about the history. But it says physical training, so it can be anything regarding fitness, it can be you know a snatching routine, it can be anything. So this is Sumo's Taski Zori. It is blatantly kata guruma. So you grip the leg, you grip the arm, you go down. Now in sumo, you cannot put your knees on the ground. So this is as low as you're going to get. Here you can see it in Aikido being performed in a demonstration. It's a shame this technique is no longer done. By the way, the channel Mekugi does this compilation of the same technique performed in different jujitsu schools, clipped together perfectly. I will leave a link in the description if you want to check it out. I highly recommend it. Here you see in Daitoryu Aiki Jujitsu. You can see it is the same, it's a lift, but it is placed more, the shoulders are placed on the ribs and the landing is far more brutal than what you see in sumo and in judo. Here it's in take no uchi ryu, uh, it's the same, it's a drop, here you can put your knee because it's not like sumo rules and you, it has a flow to it, it's not so much as a lift and a toss it is different so again it's very interesting to see it done in different jujitsu schools and also in judo and sumo so this here you can see that personally i do not believe that it came from wrestling it says physical training so it can be maybe a snatching drill it can be anything regarding physical training it did not say combative sport or martial arts or or anything uh, for that matter. So this idea has been spread long enough during my podcast. Many people have said, you know, Kano took it from Western wrestling and did it again in the past. I was under this belief myself, but reading this, I highly doubt it. And also there's just so much evidence regarding uh, Kataguruma being in other jujutsu schools, old jujutsu schools, and even sumo. Sumo, which considered if you want the father in Japanese grappling. So this idea that it came from wrestling, personally, the evidence is just not there. Now, that's not to say that Kano was not interested in studying Western art. Did he 100%? Um, if you go to the history of Kodokan uh, Judo in the Kodokan website, link is in the description below. It says that Kano was interested in sumo and other uh, combative forms so did he study wrestling i'm gonna say yes 
because at that time Kano wanted to put Japan on the world map and so he took many things and put them in Japan for example tennis uh, or baseball I believe comes from thanks to Kano they came to Japan now what are the effects of wrestling in judo uh, in judo is there some now based on my ex I on my observation excuse me I believe there is if you look at the first draft of the rules of Kodokan Judo which I also made a video on I will link it at the end one of the ways that you can win was a two second pin now does that remind you of anything me it reminds me of wrestling so uh, when they were first trying to draft rules for safety and also ways to you know take control of your newaza uh, kansetsu and also osai komi uh, because back then the throw did not score it was just it was chaotic people got thrown you know more than a dozen times and either you get knocked out from a throw or you get knocked out from strangles or you tap out so when they first put that draft there was the two second pin so is it possible that it came from wrestling i would say absolutely yes so again with these things when we're discussing them regarding history you can never say for sure 100 percent that this is what happened unless you find some account that's describing something and it's clearly saying you know stating the fact but um we can all we can do is gather the evidence and try to understand them as much as possible and and as objectively as possible but to say that kataguruma came from wrestling because kano opened some book and you know he took it and he used it i don't believe that's the case also it says now we call it kataguruma it, it, it's kind of like uh he opened the book and found it and now we call it kataguruma no uh, you have to understand that in old jujitsu uh, and even judo in the past techniques had different names i'll give you an example uh, mata harai or uh, sai thai sweep which was o sotogari and now we call it o sotogari um, also uchikake o uchigari um, and the list goes on uh, ude shigi uh, later became ude shigi juji gatame etc again we all make mistakes it's normal there's a lot of narratives that turns out to be not true i used to believe them the more i study the more you learn so please check out the links in the description below and uh, make sure you read them thoroughly this was shadi and thank you for listening